Hello and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Economics course. Today we're going to be looking at monopoly power. What is a monopoly? A monopoly is a market structure which is dominated by only a single seller in the market. For example, the national grid. They own a monopoly on the amount of electricity produced in the UK. It controls a much larger part of the market than other firms. So, um, as a result, it does have its costs as well to the market structure. These are the costs of monopoly power. Firstly, it's less efficient. As there is less competition in the market, there is no incentive to work harder to make more profits. So, as a result, output can be reduced. Also, it can charge higher prices. For consumers, this is a problem because they'll have to pay higher prices for the good or service if there are no other substitutes for it. So, naturally, the monopoly is going to rise its prices, and as a result, it will decrease consumer welfare. It will also distort the allocation of resources. The monopoly can control how many products it releases, and therefore how many products are actually going to be supplied onto the market. If it holds back, they can create excess demand or excess supply, which is not beneficial for the allocation of resources and social welfare. It also produces such things called barriers to entry. These are factors which are going to prevent firms from entering an industry and operating in a market, i.e. the new competitors will be done and crushed by the existing monopolies as soon as they enter, so as a result they can't really flourish in the market um, scenario. For example, if we have a shop called Builds Burgers, McDonald's is just going to trump it completely and it's not going to be able to really want um, to compete with it in the market. Now I know there is also perhaps other brands such as Burger King and McDonald's, but um, neither one really holds a that big of a monopoly. However, both of those, which well, let's say together work as a monopoly, would crush Bill's Burgers, and Bill's Burgers wouldn't likely be able to survive. Another example is that of the National Grid. If an electricity producing company came into the market, it would be crushed by the National Grid because the National Grid owns so much of the UK's electricity. As a result, it produces barriers to entry. Here are some questions on monopoly power. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video. Hit play to see the answers. These are the answers. If you did get all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on why governments intervene. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.